what's going on? Jerome here along with Ben, and today we have for you guys factions on Lucky Block Party. That's right, everybody. This is my faction server. If you want to come join in, we're on play.luckyblock.party, and we have quite the exciting episode ahead for you all. Pretty much overnight and over the past couple of days, I've managed to get over 100,000 XP from our Blaze Spawner. And believe me, wait till I show you what it looks like overall. The Blaze Spawner, it even has, I think, over, actually, we can see it through the floor there, over 2,000 Blazes stacked. So we've just been grinding and grinding all day it's taken quite a number of hours to get to this point but you know what we're finally here we're ready to go so we're gonna use that XP throughout this episode we're gonna buy out some enchantment books we're gonna go around looking for envoys for brand new lucky blocks that can go all around the map I explained that in my first episode of factions and then finally I'm gonna show you guys around the brand new base that my teammates were nice enough to put together including Ben a person soul I mean they worked hard on it as you could tell we initially were gonna go for another kind of like fire theme and we ended up going with an ice one but the ice one looks so cool like i can't wait to show you around the base but without further ado let's get on into the episode so to start off we're on the first floor right now of this entire base keep in mind it goes up quite a number of floors. It's a really tall tower. Uh, and down here, we have pretty much your basics of factions. We have auto potion makers right here. So, you know, you'll put like the spider eyes in one end, or you might put uh, whatever the thing is you need, like sugar cane on the other end. And they all just get fed right down into this potion stand. And then pretty much from there, it'll pop out potions. Get whatever kind of potions you need from that. From there, we have an awesome chest system to make sure that if people break into our base, they can't steal any of our items. So, right over here, the way you access the chest, if you look, you right-click it, you can't open it up. Oh, dang. But then you break one of the glowstone lamps, you pick it right back up, open up the chest, put all your items in, and you're good to go again. The glowstone lamps, once you break them, they're not permanently broken. So literally, you just, just plop them out, plop them back in, and you're good to go. It gives like an easy safety system that also just looks really cool. Like looking at that from this distance, you can barely even tell there's chests behind that wall. It just looks really nice and clean. So that's an easy little floor number one. If we head on up to floor number two, my personal favorite, because this is where the blaze spawner is, you can actually start fighting off blazes. It's a good way to get XP, money, and all the like. Because from here, every time you kill them, another one spawns in up to the amount that you have there which is over 2,000 of them and you just collect blaze rods like that uh, and then from there you can just go slash sell uh, hand Oops, I accidentally put a semicolon in there. Slash sell hand. Boom. You get $14.50 for each of them. So imagine if you spent hours there doing it, you would have, well, like I have over $100,000. You, you get a lot of money easily from that. However, the blaze spawners are very costly, so it has its trade-offs. On the same floor, though, we do have our anvils over here, our little enchanting, I wouldn't want to call it a room. I'll call it like a corner, our enchanting corner, and another one as well, just, you know, make it symmetrical and look really cool. Uh, and then also from here, we pretty much just have more of the chests that you can access in case you want to put some things in chests on that floor. And even more over here for less valuable items that if anyone breaks in, they can loot instantly. But uh, once again, the more valuable items you'd put in this system here, because they'd have to destroy it with TNT cannons in order to access it. These are just for like quick and easy things, like if you have extra steak or something like that of, of low value. Uh, so then we head on up another floor. Oh, and by the way, everybody, comment down below real quick. What is your favorite part of this base? Like, do you like the ice thing? Theme. Like, for me, I love the theme of it all. How it's all, like, ice and quartz-based. I mean, it just looks really cool. It's one of the nicest design bases I've seen in a long while. But if we follow our good man, Ben, over here, he's going to show us real quick the auto cow farm. And, Ben, do you want to explain how this bad boy works? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Jerome, the easiest way to explain it, because how everything is built in this base, it makes it so if they get in one part of the base, they still have the cannon through. So, to show it off easily for your viewers, if you jump into game mode free really quick. Okay, now once again, I don't do this off, you know, camera. I don't do it yep. or anything like this, but we want to show you the base, so, you know, whatever. So, if, okay. you, uh, if you head on up, you'll yes. see that uh, there's a, a nice lot of pressure plates and cow spawners along the uh, first row. I can't see. Okay. There you are. So, just here. So, what happens is a cow will spawn on one of these pressure plates. Let me demonstrate. Uh, game mode zero. Push yeah. it down. Push it into the lava. Okay. And then it will burn to death. But I don't want Ben's steaks. No, no, you want cow steaks. So, that's okay. how it works. So, it automatically kills it with the lava, puts it into the hoppers, and then down into the chest, which actually have cooked beef. I was going to say, wh which chest should we be accessing? Because all these chests, I think it keeps getting fed hopper-wise. There, I found the chest. And you get some leather, too, which, I mean, doesn't really do much of anything. It's got to be it quite exists. a bit of value, Jerome, actually. Leather does? Yeah, sell it. 
Oh, well, now I'm very curious. Let's. Oh, I gotta get out of. Gotta get out of game mode. Three. Yeah. So let's go into <laughs> game mode zero. All right. So if we do slash sell hand. Oh, would you look at that? It actually does have $2.80 of value. Okay, cool. So I guess you get a little bit more bang for your buck, and you also get stake in case anyone in your faction doesn't have a rank, it doesn't have slash feed like we do. Uh, so it's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. But overall, Ben, I mean, the base is looking mighty fine. I hear the oh, outside's yeah. also looking good, too. And we have a big announcement about the outside of it, too. Oh, yeah. So, Jerome, Jerome, you said a, a home to the outside, so we can quickly show it off. So it's just slash home home. Yeah, mm -hmm. slash home, home. And by the way, that chest over there that said for the King of the Bacchus, there's something special in there. Just wait oh, until you get yeah. to see that one. There's something real special in there. But this is the outside of the base. Uh, I'm going to use slash fly, which is given to anyone with a rank. Uh, there we go. We're going to fly on up. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. And I'll show you guys the base. Now, here's the big announcement while we're out here. Not today, not tomorrow, but on Wednesday, we're going to make a big event of it. And by a big event, I'm talking like a huge... Huge, huge event where we're going to be releasing the bedrock wall from around my base as promised after about a week and it's going to be a fully raidable base and from there me and my faction are going to make an episode of us trying to defend our epic base from all of you out there that are going to try and destroy it and I imagine there's going to be quite a number of you trying to do that so this should be interesting by then we might even add some more layers to it Actually, as well but there will yeah. be so that that's what i was uh, bringing you up to show you we didn't finish it all because we okay. wanted to show you these walls over here with the never brick, yeah. these are full-blown regen walls now. These, their main focus is just to regenerate. Oh We're going to have... Oh my gosh. I think it's uh, four layers on each side. Oh! And if you've ever, and if so you've ever tried to go for a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's gonna, so yeah, when we said it's gonna be a big event, we're thinking about even live streaming it, but we're probably gonna do it, a live stream around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Faction server. It's been heavily requested that we do a live stream for it, uh, and this will be your chance to prove if you're better than my faction on a live stream. So it'll be cool. We've been working hard on this base in the meantime. Actually, outside of it, people are already trying to build up to get little oh, yeah. vantage points against us, so <laughs> yeah, it, it's gonna be fun. Ready. But finally, guys, let's go back into our base, and I'm going to show you all the really cool thing in the chest that basically says King of the Bacchus. So slash F home, heading on down. Da -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Teleporting. And this yeah. is something yep. huge that every faction at some point needs to have. Uh, I'm just glad we finally got one. But if we go up here. Oh, by the way, Ben, do you want to explain yeah. why I have absorption hearts all the time? Because I know that's part of your armor set, but figure just Yeah, there's an enchant on here that I think is... Uh giving everybody around me absorption that's in the faction. So, so pretty much, if I, if Ben has that enchanted piece of armor on, any one of us, like, even if I'm just like right over here and I'm close enough to him, every few seconds or so, it'll give me six hearts of absorption. Uh, which, as you can imagine, is amazing, because that's 60% more health. Uh, yeah. <laughs> literally just for hanging out with Ben. Thanks, Ben. Oh. Okay, Jerome, I think it's time. Yeah, and here it is, everybody. We have nicely placed in here an Iron Golem spawner. And we have a nice old place as well that we can plop it down. So I believe, Ben, do we just go up through where the steak farm is, or do we go somewhere no, else? No, or? you can't get to it in any other way than going to your home that you have set. Ah, okay, so slash, uh, so slash home iron it was, right? Yep, yep, yep. There we go, slash home iron, and then we can choose one of these areas to place it down. Now, once we put the iron golem spawner down in one of these places, what ends up happening? Actually, I'll, I'll show you guys first. I'll put it down right here, Ben. Yep, just there. Boom. So what's going to happen is it'll spawn him in. The iron golem's going to come down here, get fed through the system. No matter which way it chooses, it'll basically die out anyway, so it doesn't matter how many we have. We can fill that up. He goes right down into here, sent through the lava, burned to a crisp, and then the iron falls through the hopper and right into one of these chests. And it basically allows us to farm money at a very fast rate. Now to start, it's only one every once in a while because we only have one spawner. But if you save up enough money or steal enough from other factions, you could have like 10 of these iron golem spawners going at a given time. Uh, and as you can imagine, that that's really useful, right Ben? I, I, I oh yeah, it's useful. extremely useful. You get a lot of money. Uh, so we actually have uh, one of the... Uh, hey, so, that one just spawned what? two at a time. Oh, it's a chance. So it will spawn a different amount every single time. From like one to three, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. 
And set another one down there. So that pretty much right there, everybody, is my base. Now, of course, my base alone is pretty good. It may not be the best one you've ever seen, but that's why we need your help. We want you to comment down below. What ways can we make the base either look nicer or just be better? Like, what are we missing anything? Do we have everything that you could possibly think of? Let me know. And by the way, everybody, after tomorrow's live stream, we're probably going to pick out one or two lucky people that we find out in the wilderness uh, or that are fighting against us that just prove themselves in battle uh, and we're going to select them to join our faction so we're going to be adding in new members it's going to be awesome if you want to be part of the baka nation then you got to go improve your worth on the battlefield against us it's going to be fun i'm actually excited for this event ben like a oh, live streamed yeah. factions event that's going to be crazy oh it's going to be amazing it's going to be absolutely amazing yeah. So, without further ado, everybody, we're going to take a quick old cut, we're going to get some envoys ready, and then we're going to go around and try and find a bunch of those scattered throughout the war zone in the wilderness to hopefully get some cool lucky blocks we can open up for better gear. And then at the end of this episode, we're going to enchant our armor by buying custom enchant books uh, with our 100,000 XP. That way, when the live stream comes around, we're ready for battle. See you in a second. All right, so we're back on the server and ready to go. An envoy has been released, so everyone around here can go around the war zone and try and find for themselves some chests that may or may not have lucky blocks located in them. Now, in order to make this thing extra cool, I'm going to throw on my resource pack, which most people have automatically downloaded, uh, but just in case I have an extra backup one because I'm special. There we go. And let's fly around, Ben. I'm going Come through. Come on, Jerome. You're now, this is one them. of the perks of having a rank, is that if you don't have it, you're going to be battling a ton of people trying to look for these things, uh, which can prove to be very very difficult as you can imagine when envoys are released everyone tries to scatter there's already someone looking for one right now down there uh Ooh. everyone tries to scatter to collect them all so we get to fly around and try and get our pick ben let me know if you find any i will uh, do i will do i'm looking now now they can spawn in the war zone or the wilderness correct no just the war zone oh no oh yeah. no so either way you put it even when we open up people might come in and try and kill us uh-huh yep they can even come in uh Get us on the jump, actually. They, if they're quicker than us, ooh. it's very risky. Very, very risky. Yeah, all right. I'm still looking. Ben, I don't see it. Ben. Uh, I don't see any either. Uh, actually, yeah. I found one. I found one. You found one? All right, right. Yeah. Oh, I found one, too. Me. All right. Okay. You watch that get... one. I'm going to open up this one. Here we okay. go. Right click to unlock. Unlock you in 15 seconds. Uh oh, we gotta hold out for 15. I don't think anyone would have made it out this far already. So I think we might be secure. The war zone is humongous, just so you know. So this is uh this is something right here. Alright, here we go. And let's see what I got. Yes! No way! No way! A legendary lucky block, Ben! Oh, Jerome! Jerome, I'm gonna die! Jerome, I'm right, gonna I, die. I request sent to you! I can't, I can't, I died, I died. No, Ben! Yeah, All right. not much. I, I we gotta find I, out where that was again, because I just got a legendary lucky block, man. Oh, someone's here already. Dude. Dude, I found I found some of the wilderness. I'm gonna I'm gonna hunt them down. I, just because it's their name. name? Uh it's a helper. It's brutal sore. Oh, uh, they're very stacked. They're, they uh, go for it, Jerome. Sure. No, they're not that stacked. I think I got him. Oh, come on. Come on, dude, I have him at two hearts. Zero! Yes! No! I got the kill! I got the kill, Ben! No, okay, what they... Nice, Jerome. Okay, they just Jerome. had a normal diamond enchanted chest plate. Okay. Oh, God! Oh, God! Now I'm getting chased down! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's more people here. There's more run, people here. Run! Run! I'm Jerome. not sure I'm gonna be it. I'm not gonna make it! No! I got hit up! They must have went out there with their faction, Ben! Alright, we gotta get some new kits to get back out there, bud. Okay, let's get our... Let's get our, uh... Demi God kits. Yeah, I'm going to spawn right ready. now. I'm gonna go to spawn first. Then I'm gonna get back and get ready to go. Now let's go slash fly. And... Here we go. And then slash... Uh, kit. Demigod. Oh my god, dude. I can't believe I got a kill. Oh, I have to wait a little bit for it. What's the next best one? Uh, do, if you do slash kit, you'll see what the ones you're on. Yeah, slash kit is. overlord. Boom. All right. Dude, that was so cool, though. I got the kill. And unfortunately, I might have ended up dying. But you know what? It was still a nice little kill there. A good grab. Good old grab. All right, I'm heading back out into the wilderness. I want to find another one of these bad boys. At least one. More envoy. Okay. Dude, that's so intense, man. I held it for all of, like, five seconds. But then I got greedy uh. and had to kill someone. I didn't know what he had on his chest plate because the rest of his armor wasn't enchanted. And I was like, if he has, like, a super chest plate and the rest of it's not, I could easily take him and I could just steal the gear. Oh, you were so close. <laughs> ah, come on. Okay. Where did you go, Dan Jerome? Because I'm at the war zone now and I 
Scared my I was I wasn't too too far off. I was pretty circled around it. Like I wasn't ridiculously far out. But uh, we'll see. Okay, come on. I'm not seeing it. And no, I want to find it again. I think I know where I was. I want to get back there. I just want to get back in the fight. I'm if looking. It wasn't a double team. I know I could have taken him. Yeah, so I, I know was, I, I was. Uh, I was killed by someone that was very stacked. Very. Very stacked. They had very good enchants. I didn't ah. even see it coming either. I looked back behind me and all I saw was the flaming zombies that spawned for my sword. I didn't even see the other people. All right. Well, I found another one of these uh, chests. So let's open this bad boy up. Here we go. 14 seconds. Come on. I can't believe that a legendary. The odds on finding one of those in an envoy is is absurdly rare. Right, uh, come on. Wait, that chest had a legend uh, and you died? Yeah, dude. It had a legendary block in it. No, Jerome. Okay. Unfortunately, I just found an ore one. Let's see if we can find another one. There's got to be more envoy blocks somewhere. Ben, we got. I, I bet you there's at least one more on the map after that respawn. Th Come there on. was a. I, there's a roughly about twenty that spawned. So that means other people have gotten them. All of them. Can't... Oh, oh! I'm getting jumped while running around the walls. So... No, I, I doubt they've gotten all of them. I think if we just keep our eyes open, we can find at least one more, Ben. Okay. I'm, I'm trying not to die. Someone took okay. me out of uh, Slash Fly. Give me a second. Don't die. Don't die. Come on, Ben. Come on, buddy. How did they get a Slash Fly? They hit you with a bow while you were flying by? Uh, no, I was flying too low to the ground. Not thinking about it. Uh, you, you know, Ben, that's not the best idea. No, no, it's not. Okay. Oh, come on. Let me check how far this goes. I'm going to go to the outskirts of it. Whoa, someone's got a nice obsidian base right here. But I think they might be easy to raid unless they have... No, oh, they don't have anything inside. Okay, so they just built the shell of their base. They're still working on it, I guess. So there's no point in raiding them. Um, let's see, let's see. Any luck, Ben? Any fortune no, at all? No, I've, I've got three people trying to kill me! Ah! All right. I hit the wilderness, so I'm at the edge of it all. And... Okay. Come on. Do you see it anywhere? No, I'm I'm trying to get out of combat tag so I can fly. I've I've just killed everybody around me. Jeez, how many kills did you get from that, bud? Oh, two. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay. There we go. I'm out. I'm out. I'm flying. I'm flying. Okay. 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 Keep looking. Should I open up the ore one now while we're looking? Yeah, yeah open up. Yeah, up. I, I found one. I found one. Teleport. You found one. Slash T P A Frizzle. Get go. me over there, Ben. All right, 10 seconds. Can't move for 10. As long as no one hits me with a bow in this 10 seconds, we're good. We're very good. I'm going to start unlocking it as soon as you get here. Okay, right. let's go. And there we go. 14. Ooh. And 10. 8. Okay, come on. Come on. What are we going to find in there? Is it 4, 3, 2, two one. 1. Legendary! All right, let's, let's get go, out let's of go, here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's oh my god. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna straight go really spawn. high up so no one can hit me with a bow. Oh, you want to do oh. it spawn? Yeah, I was just, go no, spawn. I was just gonna go straight spawn. Yeah. Yeah, smart thinking. Safe. Oh my god, straight! Yes! No, I was going no straight. Yes, I can't believe we got the legendary, dude. There's no way. You know how powerful this is gonna be, Ben? Oh, All right. I'm gonna oh open it goodness. on top of this building. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I don't okay. have permission to no, build. You will. You will. Slash up me. Okay. And then do slash admin bypassed. So uh, admin bypass. All admin. one word. Oh, okay. One word. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Yes. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Let's Whoa. do it. Oh. Here we go. What we get? Okay. We got an axe, a sword, a mystery enchantment book, and an epic lucky block. No. No. Drew, you got to open that one as well. Ben. The axe has Bash 5, Battle Tested 10, Gorgon no. Cry 4. The sword has Divine Right 1 and Speedster 7. Are you kidding me? Yo. That's that, so good. That's unbelievably good. And then a common enchant book. Let's see what we get from it. And... Double Strike with a 99 success rate. No. Not Jerome. That's... We're, wow. We're putting that I'm actually, there. like, blown away because I wrote, like... All of the loot tables, so I know the chances for all of that. Well, here we go, the epic one. Come on. Oh, we got XP. Nice. Nice. There we go. Got a little bit here. What is this? Uh, 
Diamond Boots of Strength that have Doctor's Patch 3 and Self-Destruct 2 and 10 no. CMMO levels. I'm going <laughs> to use those right now and put them on my swords. That's right. unbelievable. There we go. Got my sword skill up. Dude, that's so cool. And finally, last but not least, the least value of them, valuable of them, the Ore Lucky Block. I mean, still gives us something. We got uh, two coal and two redstone. All right. All hey, righty, righty. Jerome. So, yeah. I, I bought you some Lucky Blocks off the uh, auction house. What? Someone <laughs> was selling them? Yeah, yeah. It, the, people do that. Right. There you go. What? Why would they sell... Who sold to other oh, ore lucky blocks? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, I thought they were like regular. I was like, what? Who would do that? Okay, yeah, so you could sell Lucky Blocks on the auction house, everybody. Like I said, I doubt anyone would ever sell, like, a basic or a legendary <laughs> or an epic one, but ore ones are a lot less valuable, so I guess that's less surprising. Ben, look at them all! I know. Jerome, if you hold it in one place and just keep right-clicking one of the blocks, it just spams them. It's great. Dude, some of these haven't even spawned. Oh, because I gotta right-click them afterward. There we go, there yeah. we go. Keep spamming them. Ah! Go through them! Dude, look at all the ore everywhere! Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. That was actually really cheap. Uh, yeah. so, wow. Okay, well that's good with me. I'm happy with that. So, let's see what our end loot was. We got 4 emerald ore, 13 redstone. Oh, sorry, 22 redstone, 1 diamond, 9 iron ore, 17 gold, 31 coal, and a big wow. old... GG. Oh, we have another mystery enchantment book. Let's see what we Ooh. got from that one. I got a Divine Plate 2 with 74% ch chance success rate. Okay. Uh, we'll Not see. bad. Divine. All right. There we go. So now we have all of those, Ben. I think I, I only ha I don't have much XP left. I've only got 5,000 left because I died. So we have to kind of go down here and spend it wisely. Is that enough, do you think, to buy a book? Yeah, yo, yeah, you can actually buy quite a few books with that, depending on what one oh. you buy. Yeah, let's go with, uh, let's go five common and one unique one. Ooh. There we go. So we're getting ready. And I'm probably going to buy a bunch of these off camera as well, because I'm going to try and kill off a bunch of blazes in the meantime. That way I'm all prepared up for our big battle on Wednesday. So here we go. Uh, with the unique one, I got shielded one with a 65% success rate. Uh, I got... Disorientate 6 with an 84%. Ooh. I got Drowsy 5 with a 96. I got Double Strike 10 with a 32 success no. rate. Wait, Ooh, Double Strike If you 10? can get that to work. Wow, the Double Strike 10, is that's insane. Yeah, yeah, it goes up really high. But if you can get that to go on. Oh. And then Degrade 1 with an 83% uh, success rate. And then finally Slice and Dice 6 with a 46% success rate. That's actually that's actually some pretty good, like, high levels, but not the best percentages. Yeah, mm. I'm happy, though. So what I'm going to do then, everybody, is I'm probably going to wait, get myself a little bit better gear, throw these on, and by the next time you see me in that stream, I'm going to be stacked. Like, stack stacked. Right, Ben? Yo, yeah, definitely. We're going to get you stacked all the way up. Cool. Well, either way, Ben, I don't know about you. I think this is probably a good place to call quits. What do you think, bud? I agree. Yeah, so a nice old episode, everybody. We got to open up a legendary Lucky Block on camera through an Envoy. Uh, and, and just overall, good things happen. So I'm happy. Hope you guys are as well. Make sure you click that like button. If you want to join the server, links at the top of the description. But apart from that, everybody, take care. Have an amazing day. And thank you so much for joining us, everyone.